Hello YouTube, it's Gopro Nopper, and today I'm doing another camera haul video. I know this is really unusual, and I don't normally do back-to-back -back camera haul videos, but this stuff just came in so fast that I had to do another one. So let's get started. And uh, first you'll notice that I have my Nichromat FTN out here. That's because I got a kit lens for it. Nippon Kogaku uh, Nikkor H F2 50 millimeter, and this was $25 at my local camera store. It's working great. So now that I've got this, I can really do some shooting. So I'm very excited to use that. Also, while I was there, I decided to have a, a browse through their random used filter bins, and these are all $2 each. I came out with a Hoya cross green filter. See it there? Uh, you really can't see much, but it's like a star filter. Each one of these came with the boxes and instructions, which is pretty cool. This one is a Tiffin This is a split screen or a split field filter and you can see it slightly changes the focus and magnification of the frame so that's used to offset the focus between close and distant subjects if you google that you can see some rather excellent uh, shots from famous films that use this filter to create a very interesting visual effect uh, here's another Tiffin this one is a center spot filter. Can I see there? Makes everything outside that center spot pretty hazy. As you can kind of see over by that Nikkor mat, it's getting a little fuzzy. Take it away, it's back to normal. It gets a little fuzzy. That's uh, pretty cool. It makes a really nice dreamy effect. Slide that back in. Of course, each one of these was $2. Oh, come on. And finally, this is a Koken uh, 8 pointed star filter. Can, uh, really hard to see, but there are very fine um, score lines in the glass that create a star effect when the filter is used. And it's a lot easier to see in photos. It won't work because I don't have really bright contrasty light but uh, each one of those is two dollars so this one I forgot to mention in my previous camera haul this is a Kodak Brownie Hawkeye flash model I know I already have one of these but this one has the plastic winding knob and I just couldn't resist because it was $4.99 at my local Goodwill so I picked that up at a pretty good price this one was also there this is an Olympus a C740 digital camera. I have not tested this yet, but it looks to be pretty nice. And it should be working fine. So I actually only paid four dollars for this, not six ninety nine like the sticker says. So um, over here this one I found at my local antique mall for 10 bucks. It's a Kodak Signet 40. And this tripod I found in a thrift store for 25 cents. A Yashica Excellence in Optics. Or Yashica. Here it is. Working great. And um, this is actually a multiple exposure switch. But the shutter works great on all speeds. It's a very neat camera great uh, partner to my Signet 80. Very glad to have that one. And it was a pretty good deal at 10 bucks. Oh, tripod doesn't want to sit straight. So, um, moving on. I picked this one up today. This is an Olympus 
XA Compact 35 Rangefinder. Works great. Needs a new battery. But otherwise, it works just fine. And these things are really neat little compacts. Price sticker was listed seven bucks, but the dealer was having half off today, so I got it for about three fifty. Fantastic deal on that. Then I stopped at uh, several estate sales. At one of them, I found a couple of things. First was a Polaroid Land film pack, seventy five speed. So. Rest in peace, FP100C. <laughs> Use your predecessor. Hopefully, uh, Lomography can get the machines for that. Uh, some Sylvania, or excuse me, General Electric number no. five flash bulbs. Whole case of them. Very neat. Um, this, this, and one more item was all five dollars. Along with that, um, these three were five dollars. This right here, which I'm about to show you. This and this were five bucks. I also picked this up. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is actually a fountain pen. Uh, I'm, I've been trying to find one of these for quite some time. I just wanted to try it out. But, uh, I don't know if you can read that, but it's a Parker. Apparently those are pretty nice. But, uh, desk set. Very neat. Just a little something to mess around with. So, um, at a different estate sale today, I picked this up, and you'll see the price in a moment. It's a Zeiss Icon Contaflex 2, and this one is in fine shape. They had it priced at 18, I paid 10, and this thing is in fine working condition. For some reason, the meter cover doesn't want to stay down. I think one of the uh, hold the yeah, jeez, what 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 to call it? Uh, one of the things is broken on it. One of the things that holds the flap down. But it works great, and ten bucks is a pretty good deal for one of these things. The reason I paid that much is because I showed to them that the uh, oh, this window won't stay shut. Okay, well, do ten bucks, sure. Why not? Uh, really great deal. Came with case and everything. So now we move on to the three best finds, and this one I have been searching for for just about forever. This was one of my dream cameras for the longest time, and now that dream is finally realized. I've got one here. This is an Ansco Mark M, 35mm rangefinder camera, interchangeable lenses. I love this thing almost as much as my Signet 80. It works just fine, came with the 50mm uh, f1.9, and it's in great shape. The meter's working too. I can uh, show you that. And not quite enough light in here. But it came with the manual and instruction or manual and case. That was 18 bucks at my local antique mall. And seriously, I am so happy I found this. <sighs> it's been my dream to own one of those for the longest time and I finally got one. So now we move on to probably the two best purchases of the day. Back here, in this case, Everything in here was $25, had a garage sale. Alright, you see the Pentax Super Program. Uh, rather similar to the ME Super. Working fine. And came with the SMC Pentax A F1.7 50mm. So this can also serve as my kit lens for the ME Super. Just have to use it separately. So that was cool. But then, got the bottom half of the Ever Ready case. Lots of filters. There's about eight in here, mostly UV and polarizers. But those are always nice to have. But then, you look all the way in the bottom, you've got this. 
SMC Pentax A Zoom 70 to 210 millimeters. Absolutely massive telephoto lens. This thing's awesome. $25 garage sale find. Pretty good. If I do say so myself. Yep, everything's working great in there. LCDs, uh, LCD display in the finder. Similar to my ME Super, but actually rather different at the same time. So that was cool. Oh. But then, this is probably one of my best finds I have ever had. This blue case right here. So, this case and everything in it cost me $45. And no, this is not a garage sale Leica, but open it up. We've got a Ryko or Rico KR10, a Yashica or Yashica MG1, and a Minolta Hymatic 7. So that's 15 bucks per camera with case. This one I had to do a bit of refurbishing on. Um, shutter was stuck, but I just cleaned it off with a bit of Ronsonol and got the blades unstuck. And now it's working great. All the shutter speeds are in the proper time and everything. But it's awesome. And it's really amazing. It's in fantastic shape. And it needed a rangefinder adjustment too, but I took care of that. Very easy to remove the top cover on those things. Um, the Yashica MG1 is also in just fantastic shape. Everything on it works. I have tested the meter. This is essentially a Yashica 30, Electro 35 with the CDS cell moved right there. Also very cool. And finally, the Ryko KR10, working awesomely. And this takes the K-mount lenses. Now, the nice thing about this is that I have a Sears um, KS Super. This lens is very, very similar, and I'm very excited to try that out. So, I know the video went a little bit fast today. But I wanted to run through these quickly, and I just wanted to update you guys on everything. So, that's going to be it for this camera haul. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.